Chicago is known for its pizza. And what pairs better with a pizza than beer? Southport is home to a ton of restaurants and shops, but it's also the home of Dave's favorite brewery, Corridor. They've got beer, they've got pizza, and I hear they even put beer in the pizza. Oh, yeah. Try to describe the interior of the restaurant for someone who's never been here. Cozy. I think it has its own vibe. It just feels like home. It has this like European biking kind of theme to it. I'm here all the time because I think I love the atmosphere. It's a neighborhood spot, but they are doing world-class beers. Why do you think you have so many loyal customers, so many repeat customers? Because our beer is the best in Chicago. Just taking your home right here on Southport. Great beer and great pizza. Pizza and beer, it seems like what Chicago does. Pizza and beer go so well together. But the flavors, they're just easy to mesh together. I think it's just all American. I believe you're having the barbecue pork pizza today, and the barbecue sauce has nine lives, our lace hazy offering that we have on draft. Pizza and beer are best friends anyway, but when you find a way to put beer into my barbecue sauce on my pizza, that's like a next level friendship. All right, so of course, barbecue pizza needs barbecue sauce. That's right. So we start with some traditional ingredients. So we have ketchup. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, that's right. Worcestershire sauce. That's better, that's I like that. That's a fine one. Champagne vinegar, brown sugar. So this is our hazy beer. It's gonna give us some of those citrus characters and some of the fun brightness in our barbecue sauce. So you this went, is our beer that we brew in house. You went a little crafty. <laughs> so then we have some soy sauce. And then the last thing is we put a little sriracha in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the heat, marry everything together, and now we're gonna see in our pork. Good. Looks like, it looks like we're there. So now let's build a pizza, huh? Yeah. We're just gonna kind of let gravity do the work for us. So your knuckles are the are the key here. Oh, well, my knuckles are ripping a hole in it. Well, just I mean, just a small one. <laughs> we can fix these things in post. We can fix we'll these in post. We'll just fix it in post. <laughs> what hole? What? And we're gonna use some Dijon as a base. What have you done this before? I've done a pizza you need episode. A job? Okay. You need a job? I won't forget the cheese <laughs> okay. this time. I swear. So we're just gonna take these pickles and kind of spread them around the pizza. Hate what I hate pickles. Do you hate puppies and rainbows too? No, I love puppies and rainbows and cats and all animals. <laughs> so now we just pop it in the oven. All right, you still get a high five, even though it has pickles. Thank you. Let's dig into your deliciousness. Let's do it. The beer in the sauce gives it almost a fruity taste. Totally, like the citrusy notes really come through with the hazy. It's the hazy is just so like good. so juicy and it really cuts through the pork and the pickles. <laughs> there were no pickles in that bite, to be clear. Why is Corridor Chicago's best? We just do uh, good food and good beer simply, but using great ingredients and a lot of love. Cheers to good food, to good beer, and a lot of love. Thank you so much.